The release of radiation from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant led to a ban on shipping rice, beef, and other foods. The disaster in 1986 at Chernobyl led to a similar scenario in Europe. Many governments prohibited shipments of contaminated foods. 26 years later, the British government has decided to lift the last restrictions on shipments of lamb and mutton. NHK World's Adrian Duard has more. Wales is a part of Great Britain famous for sheep farming. Despite being 2,300 kilometres from Chernobyl, radioactive fallout was carried here by wind and rain, contaminating some upland areas grazed by sheep. For four months after the disaster, farmers were banned from selling sheep from affected areas. Glyn Roberts has been farming in this region for almost 30 years. He estimates that in 1986, the Chernobyl disaster caused a 40% drop in his income. Even after the ban was lifted, every sheep had to be tested before it could go to market. If levels of radioactive cesium were too high, farmers had to keep the sheep until contamination levels fell. Affected farmers have followed the rules carefully. Maintaining consumer confidence is critical for their livelihoods. <laughs> They had more confidence in buying the land because we were doing all those monitoring work. Finally, Glyn Roberts has the news he's been waiting for. From June the 1st, all remaining restrictions will be lifted. It's a happy uh, thing that the, the whole process is coming to an end and we see the light in the end of the tunnel, if you like. The decision was made by the UK's Food Standards Agency. Officials point to the latest studies, which show that eating meat from the affected farms carries a negligible risk to human health. What you can see, in 1987 nearly 14% of sheep failed the monitoring, but that number has come down quite dramatically over the years and is now approximately 0.2%. It's clear that there is now um, evidence that demonstrates that risks are very low and that, and that it would be possible to remove all of the remaining control. Some consumers are welcoming the news. It shows that everything's safe and everything now. We eat it and the children eat it and we're perfectly happy. But a Welch farmers' union says the government needs to communicate its evidence more clearly to the public to prevent a negative impact on confidence. They need to do a good job of explaining why this is the case and, and reassure the public that there isn't um, a large associated health risk with that decision. After 26 years, the lifting of restrictions is good news for farmers. Their hope now is that the public remains confident about their product. Whip. Whip. Adrian Durwood, NHK World, Wales.